PC Sims, and we are back with more Seven Scarlet. And we are starting Toa's route today, so I'm kind of excited because he's strange and weird, and I'm really curious about him. But um, so we're going to start a new game because we know that when you start a new game, um, actually, whoops, yeah, hold on, spicy. Um, the intro thing gets extended. The, after your first game and your second game, I think it said. So, and then when you do what's his face is route, like the manager guy's route. So, so we get to see the extended opening scene and we'll see what's different. Cause it was really different. The last time I was like, I don't know if I'm going to know what's different. And then I was like, yes, we noticed. Um, okay. So now we see our bloody hands, right? Okay, that. That was the same, though. That was the same. Hold on a second. That was really the s It says in here. Okay, hold on a second. Right? The opening, the running through the forest will get us into three times. When you start a new game after your first and second completed routes. After our first was Hino's. And it extended, and then the second was Isora's, and so it didn't... Huh. Hmm, I don't know, it didn't... T there, none of that was any different than what we saw in Isora's route. Uh, so we'll do it again after Toa. We'll do it for, in the beginning of all of them, just to see if maybe it didn't... Like, maybe what it means is, like, maybe not your second. Maybe... You know what I mean? Because, like, you could do Hino or Isora. And then you could totally skip. Because once you do at least one of them, then uh, Toa's route opens. Maybe it's after Toa's route. And maybe they didn't play in the normal order of things. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. So we'll just start from there. So, um, this is the one. Okay. <laughs> I got The buttons are weird on this one. So, um, we're going to skip through. Dun -dun -dun. So, of course, that's what we're doing. Probably the first part is we're skipping. Although, I think we actually managed to get... Because there's not really that much common stuff. It's when we have... I'm going to skip the intro song because we saw it like once before. And, again, I'm not 100% sure that it's not copyrighted because the source route hasn't gone up yet. We know this. We know this. I'm recording way in advance. And, unfortunately, because these routes are so short... Um, none of this has gone up yet. You guys haven't even seen this. It's not going up for a week <laughs> at this point when I'm recording. But I have to record in advance, so. But unfortunately, with this game, um, just everything's short, so. But we'll see if maybe these paths are longer. Okay, this is just skipping. Okay. So we're supposed to say wake yourself up, so we've already kind of said that. I guess because we don't want points with Hino. Like, it's like, don't. So. This is interesting. I'm just reading some of the choice. i just reading, like, the original choices. Like, I'm not reading too far down. Obviously, we have to... Huh. Interesting. When you go... actually looks like a girl's eyes, doesn't it? Like, interesting. Uh -huh. I'm still curious who that person is, because they never kind of explain it in anything. Um, oh, you sort of. Even though you're crazy and you locked us in a basement. I still love you. <laughs> um, I'm really curious. I mean, I, I feel like you might get a little bit more um, out of the story. I feel like maybe Hino and... Isora's routes are a little bit shorter. Like, maybe Toa's will be a little bit longer. Like, I don't know. I don't know necessarily. Um, it kind of looks like it's got the same amount of choices, really. But I was really wondering if the story would be any longer. Like, I'm just looking at the amount of... There's a lot of bad endings. Uh, for Yuzuki. I'm trying not to scroll down too far, because there's, like, the secret ending and I don't want to see that but I was just trying to see like if there were a lot of choices his looks maybe it's the same length I don't know 
Um, I would think that uh, Yuzuki's would be longer just because he's like the last route you go down before the super secret path. And I just feel like he's like, you know, anyway, we'll, we'll do this. Okay, so we're, we're supposed to pick the white cat brooch. Of course we're supposed to pick the white cat brooch because he's a crazy cat dude. Hmm, this one. The cat, huh? Speaking of which, uh, I feel like I keep seeing cats everywhere. Maybe it's just my imagination. Oh, I agree. I've been seeing them here and there ever since we got off the bus. Maybe you chose that because they left an impression on you. Well, it's just like you to choose that anyway. Really? And then he's going to show that he had it in his hand the whole time, like he knows us. And he's freaking out about the cute things, which is adorable that he loves cute things. Oh, he you know. We're actually, this is what I find interesting. We're supposed to be like, yeah, I kind of like him. All the other paths were like, what? Nah. So far. And now in Toa's path, we're like, mm-hmm. Yeah, I kind of like him, I guess. Oh, yeah? Anyone would envy a handsome guy like that. Did his expression darken a little? Oh, and then, she, okay, then the old lady's asking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. Sosuke, where are you going? Come back. <gasps> Come back, my love! Aww. What are you hiding under there? We're supposed to actually, of course, say, yeah, I do. Crazy cat dude. Crazy cat guy. <laughs> we're supposed to diss Isora. When he's like, remember we met earlier? We were like, like, the first time we played, we're like, why would we be like, hmm, did we? What a douche move. We're supposed to pull the douche move. Obviously, because that gives you points with Isora. You know what I mean? Like, And he's like, remember? And you're like, did we? You don't want to give him hope, right? Because otherwise he'll kidnap us. Throws in a basement is all I'm saying. It's okay. I told you we'd forgive him, right? What a crazy bastard. We'll forgive him. We totally did. But at least... For the first time ever, he was like, that was probably crazy. And you're like, thank you. Most of the time, they're like, I feel so bad doing this to him. I really do. Hmm, have we met? Huh? What a shock. We met this afternoon in the lobby. Oh, sorry. Now I remember. Right? Well, we didn't properly introduce ourselves after all. So, what's your name? Uh, I'm Spacey Hanamaki. <laughs> Nice to meet you. He slides up next to me and moves to grab my hand. But Hino shakes his hand firmly. I'm Hino Kagasuchi. I could never forget you. Let's be best buds. <laughs> Sorry. Just look at Hino leaning over his shoulder. And he's like, let's be best friends. It's so fucking creepy. R right. Okay. We were supposed to say, hmm, did we meet in Hino's route? But obviously we didn't because we were just going down a normal route and we didn't really realize. And there we go. Cat specs. Aw, Toa. And we never meet the person who's the admin. So I'm really curious about where that's going to come out. Like, who's the admin? Who's staring at us? Who's in the cat mask? What the fuck happened to our brother? I think our brother is the one in the cat mask. Or he's dead. And we are supposed to obviously say we're going to go talk to Toa. Toa? <clears throat> oh, uh, hello. This food is really good, huh? Looks like you haven't eaten much, though. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, okay then. Uh, it's just... How should I put this? Hmm? Um, I'm not very good in crowds. I'm not really sure how to act. That's fucking adorable. Oh, so that's it. It's kind of hard to know who to talk to and what to talk about when there are a lot of people around. So I often get bored at parties like these and end up eating too much. Oh, these tarts are delicious. Uh, you look really happy. Do I? I bet I seem like a glutton. I'm so embarrassed. No, I think it's great. I feel like your smile could heal the world. Oh my god. You're like, you're so fucking cute. I want to boop him on the nose. Oh. I know we just started this path, but I love my running. 
He's like adorable and shy and awkward. Is he going to slam us up against the wall? Because he's the glass. Actually, there's quite a... We got a couple like glasses assholes going on in here, don't we? Well, okay. He's got the glasses, but he might not have the asshole. It's just... We don't really know where that's going. The world? That's going a little overboard. Huh. Now that I think about it, wasn't there a line like that in one of Uck Zero's songs? Oh my god! W was there? Oh my god. Is that what you're hiding? Son of a bitch! What's the lead singer's name? Otto. His name is Toa. Is that a fucking anagram? Is that what you're hiding? Son of a bitch. That would be so fucking hilarious. Oh my god. I'm just gonna go with that. That's amazing. That is great. I think our brother is like in the cat suit. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. We're gonna find out what happened to our brother though, but like I don't I don't really know anything, but that was just like there was like one of those sides, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Because they keep, because I keep for two routes, I'm like, why do they keep talking about, like, they bring up the poster, right? And the first and you're like, mm, okay. And then there's a concert, and this guy's supposedly showing up, and then he doesn't, and then blah, blah. Why do they keep bringing this up? What the fuck is the purpose of this? There is something going on with this. Oh, my God. And he look at him, he's like, what is there? Like, he just got caught. Shh. This is getting good. What was there? Yeah, I think it went, your dazzling smile heals the world. That song was all over town. The time we've lost brings color back. Yeah, yeah, you know it really well. Uh, only because it was really popular. Because <laughs> you wrote those lines, didn't you? Oh. My. God. Spacey ruined the whole fucking route. Did I ruin the fucking route? Whatever. We're gonna find out. Um, do you like Ox Zero? It's not like... Oh, wait, did he did he say that to us? Wait a minute. How do we... Oh, he says it. Um, I thought it was us. Say, I wasn't paying attention. Okay, so he said... Okay, hold on. I'm going to rewind to this point. Like, yes, because I want to say it right. <clears throat> so he is the one who says, Um, do you like Ox Zero? It's not like I'm a fan of theirs or anything, but I bet there aren't many people who hate them. Plus, I always get really absorbed in their lyrics, so I guess you could say I like them. Your face is red. Are you okay? Because he's in Oh my god! Guys. Oh my god, this is so cool. I love it. I told you he was hiding something. I'm like, what is he hiding? He's wearing, like, the giant panic kimono, and he's, like, hiding, and he hides his face, because then we'd recognize him. Oh my god, that's amazing. It's fucking amazing. And that would explain why we saw the poster and why in this route we have to be like, yeah, no, I kind of like him. Bitch. Oh my God. That's so great. God, this is going to be great. So great. I'm so glad we did this route. I'm so glad. It was good. Okay. Your face is red. Are, are you okay? I'm fine. I just got a bit of a cold right now. Though I don't have a fever. Meow. Meow. Right, meow. He meowed again. <laughs> I wonder what the deal is with that, too. Aside from just being a crazy cat dude, but... We chat pleasantly for a while, so when I pick out one of the desserts, Sosuke stands up and begins to speak loudly. See, I figured Sosuke was going to be like the glasses asshole, but he actually seems like kind of nice. Just a little... Just a little serious. A little serious, but nice. That's why I gave him the glasses asshole voice. But then I have to give the owner the angry, but the owner has to be angry. Look at him, he's like, I don't want to be in a picture. <laughs> Remember this. Sorry, my eyes were closed. I wasn't looking. A bunch of idiots don't know how to take a photo. He's like, good. Uh, I'm angry. And what's the deal with that guy? I'm like, what he said in Hino's route. Like, I'll take you out of this world. Like, well, I'll race this world. Did you write the world into existence? Are we in like the weird, like, <laughs> I said goosebumps. I st I've never actually seen that movie. I saw everything wrong with it. That's how I watch movies sometimes. I'm like, I'm probably never going to watch this movie, especially if it's a horror movie, because I won't watch them by myself, because then I'll just be traumatized. Um, so I will basically 
watch the everything wrong with, and then I can see, and I basically watch the movie. <laughs> and it's not scary. <laughs> so I just watch that all the time sometimes when I'm bored. I'm like, I have nothing else to watch. I'm just going to watch on repeat, like, everything, whether it's a horror movie or what. So that, that, that's how I know what happened in the Goosebumps movie. There you go. Although, I mean, hello. Who didn't read R.L. Stein when they were a kid? Because those books have been around for motherfucking forever. There's probably seven billion of them, and I swear to God, I had I you. There was no way that in the Christopher Pike books. Oh my God, hello. Does he still write books? Like they're supposed to be like the teenage horror books or whatever. And like I was reading them in fucking like middle school. I started reading Dean Koontz in fucking like middle school. I progressed very fast in my heart. I've got problems. Anyway, what now? Should I just go to sleep or should I go to the women's bath? This is new. Um, interesting. Wait a minute. So what happened before this? Oh, sh okay, we got the Yukata. And now, this is weird, because this wasn't a choice we ever had before. Interesting. So it is a little longer, because we didn't have this choice, because otherwise we would have seen one of these, right? And Cool, we're, we're supposed to take a bath. I was sweating a lot as we walked around, so maybe I should take a bath, even though it's kind of late. Interesting. Oh. I go downstairs and cross the lobby. After turning down the hallways, I see the signs for the baths. It seems that although they're small, the baths are genuine hot springs. Not only that, but there's even an open-air rock bath. I can't wait. There are two curtains hanging in the entrance. One is red and one's blue. You can tell which is the men's and which is the women's by the color. Really? Is the women's supposed to be red? I wouldn't know. I'd be like, we are supposed to go through the blue curtain. Is the blue curtain the women's? Because I wouldn't make that assumption. I'd be like, dude, I need the little sign. I need the little lady in her dress and the dude. It's like, that's what I need. Or like actual word. Like, it's really weird when you go to bars and they're like, they say weird things and you're like, I'm supposed to know what, well, like, I mean, I'm trying to give you like a good analogy without sounding like, like, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? They'd be like going in and they're like, does and books. Like, we know books are male deers and does are female deers. Like, we know that. But like, it'd be shit like that. You walk in and you're like, I don't know. We don't have deer where I come from. You know what I'm saying? Like, like Jesus. I, I don't know. I don't know if this is right, but this is what the thing says. Go through the blue curtain. I was really wondering when I looked through and I saw Take a Bath and I was like, go through the blue curtain. And I'm like, I don't know, some Matrix shit going on. When I take a closer look, I find a sign on the side that says women's bath. It's a good thing I didn't go by color. I go through the blue curtain. See? Because you think blue is for boys and pink is for girls. So the red one should be the ladies. But like, girls can like blue and red and boys can like blue and red. And how would you know? Like putting two different shades of pink. And what if you're colorblind? You can't see red, right? So, like, uh, it's so hard. Guys, it's so hard. <laughs> like, oh, cool, interesting. Oh, look, there's assholes. There's serious assholes. Like, look, here's a scale. You want to weigh yourself and cry. No one's in the changing room. It appears that I'm the only female guest, so it's almost like I've reserved the bath all for myself. Which is weird. Are these, like, communal baths where you just, like, walk in and you're, like... like I mean, I'm assuming, like, the hot spring thing is, like, you're wearing, like, a bathing suit, probably. But, like, if I'm taking a bath, I'm... Who's wearing a bathing suit in the bath? Like, you're getting naked. And I'm not getting naked in a room with a bunch of other people, because that's just fucking weird. I don't know. I know people do that in gyms. Like, I just change in the locker room, and... Ah, no! I didn't even, like, doing that in fucking gym in high school. Like, you have to change in a room. No, bitch. Privacy. Weird. I can't do that. Ugh. It's freaking me out. I know we're the only person, but it would still freak me out. Just wait for somebody to bust in. Anyway. Still, I'm so sleepy. I better be careful not to fall asleep in the bath. That's true, because you could drown. I think as I take off my clothes, put them in the basket nearby and head to the path. Yeah, and then you just leave your shit in a basket? I mean, I guess in Japan no one's stealing your shit, but in America, like, your shit be gone. Like, some bitch would steal your shit. I'm just saying. Can't trust anybody. <sighs> this feels so good. I might actually fall asleep. I like the purpose of her holding her hair up, but she's got two giant chunks <laughs> I know, it's stylized, and she looks cute as shit, but it's just funny, because, like, that's not keeping your hair dry. Hmm, I could take a nap. It's not like anyone would yell at me. Oh, my God, is Tao going to sneak in here with you? You're going to see him all in his, without his, like, 
Komodo want to be like, oh my god, you're fine. What the hell? Why are you hiding that body underneath that? Nothing, no reason. No, no. If I fall asleep in here, I'll drown. Probably. I slap my cheeks with both hands, desperately trying to wake myself up. But my head still feels fuzzy. Perhaps because of the hot water. As I sink into the water, spacing out, I notice the poster I saw in town today hanging on the wall beside the bathroom door. The poster is for former Ox Zero member Otto's cut. See? Oh my god, guys. And he, they keep bringing it up in his path. He's so fucking Otto. He's so fucking him. Oh my god. Oh my mother fucking god. O to the motherfucking J, okay? That's, I just can't get over it. Ooh, uh, which Yuki is acting chairman of. Ox Zero. I never thought they'd break up. I wasn't really a fan of theirs, but I saw them all the time since they were national celebrities. I can't believe their star member, Otto, is coming to such a small town. I bet he has a different aura than a normal person like me when you meet him in person. Yeah, he attracts cats and he's strange. But we love him anyway. As I soak in the bath, the poster of Otto seems to shimmer, and I think to myself that he must be from a different world. Ugh, I feel kind of lightheaded. I guess I should get out soon. I get out of the bath, dry myself off with the towel on the handrail nearby, and then wrap myself in it. My feet are unsteady, perhaps because I'm so relaxed. Ooh, I feel kind of dizzy. The instant I go to put my hand on the door, it opens before I can reach it. It's him. Is it an automatic door? Something bumps into me. Eek! I'm so sorry. I was zoning out and... I say looking to see who I ran into. Who do you think it is? Huh? She seems pretty well built for a girl. I don't think he's actually a girl. I think he came in the wrong fucking room because he can't see because he doesn't have his glasses on. <laughs> I'm just going to guess here. I don't, so I don't really know. Or maybe it's Yua. I don't know why it would be Yua, but. Oh, no, I can't see what's in front of me very well either, so... Sorry, are you okay? I look up in the direction of the voice. There I find a handsome face that couldn't possibly belong to a girl. Eek! <laughs> what? Why? Why is there a guy in the women's bath? As I stand there in shock, unable to speak, I suddenly glance at the poster beside him. What? They kind of look alike. No, it's more than that. I take a step back, but I have no strength. My foot slips on the cypress floor. What? Eek. I can't eek anymore, guys. W watch out. Oh, my God. It is. Oh, my God. Does she find out that it's him this early? That would suck, man. I wanted her to wait. I wanted it to be, like, kind of at the end. and be like, look, I have to tell you something. <laughs> like. Or they're trying to make you think it's not fucking Toa. But you know it's fucking Toa. Look. He's got the same hair and eyes. It's fucking him. Oh my god, guys. I love it. Are you okay? Sorry, my eyes are bad and I can't see very well. You aren't hurt, are you? Wait, something feels kind of soft. The thank you. Uh, um. My dripping wet skin is pressed against him and I can feel the heat of his body, which raises the temperature of mine. Well, what should I do? This is so embarrassing. <laughs> his eyes are that bad without his glasses. So what does he do when he's on stage? Does he, like, not... Like, that's what it is. Like, when I have my glasses on, I can see the world. I'm shy and awkward. But when I take them off and I'm up on stage, I don't even need to worry about it. I'm just like, I can't see anything. Cool. Because how does he perform? Does he put contacts in? And, like, why, if you're going into a bath, would you not take your glasses with you? Like, I get it. Like, you don't take your glasses in the shower with you. But, like, if I was going into a public bath, I wouldn't be, like, walking around fumbling. You know what I mean? Like... Huh, you're kind of small. And your skin feels like a girl's... Wait, y you're a girl? What? He just noticed I'm a girl? Even though I screamed like that? W why? Uh, uh, this is the men's bath, isn't it? Wait, it's not? Huh? The guy quickly leaves, his face bright red, and my cheeks feel warm, too. The more blood rushes to my already dizzy head, and my ability to think suddenly begins to fade like she didn't realize that it was Tawa, like she didn't... 
have any fucking clue. I guess you're shocked and you're like, oh my god, wait, he kind of looks like, oh god, oh my god. And then, like, you're freaking out and you don't, like, put two and two together that the person that you've been talking to has purpley, like, has, like, the lovely, like, periwinkle colored hair and the sky blue eyes happens to look exactly like fucking Toe. I guess you're just, like, tot it's the Clark Kent fucking superman thing isn't it like he's got glasses on he obviously looks nothing and he takes glasses off and you're like superman when you'd get here where'd clark go weird and why are you wearing clark's suit strange it's like i just never understood oh you right he did the little curl thing in his hair like i gotta style my hair i just like this toa's got his hair back so you don't recognize him when it's down it's totally it's not like he's going from being like a drag queen to like dress like a man and you're like wouldn't recognize him like it's pretty fucking obvious I mean, we didn't see Otto. Like, we never saw him. But if we saw him, it would have been like, um... But, like, she see Anyway. More blood rushes to my already dizzy head, and my ability to think suddenly begins to fade. Oh, no. My head is so fuzzy. What now? I can't keep my eyes open. Plus, we're in Toa's route, so, I mean, they wouldn't give us a CG like this if it wasn't him. You know what I mean? We are, Obviously, we already know. But if we were, like, wondering... It, if this is a dream... Wish I would wake up already. I love this route already so fucking much. My consciousness dissolves and I close my eyes as he holds me up. Um, I keep trying to wake up. Oh, hey, wait, it's you. Uh, please don't fall asleep. Please, wake up. His voice seems to echo in the distance. Remember, because, so if we went in the red curtain, we would have accidentally gone into the men's bath, right? And we wouldn't have run into Toa. Maybe we still would have. Maybe we would have walked in and been like, ah, the wrong bath. But like, that's what he did, right? We were like, oh, God, I would have gone into the wrong bath because the curtains are wrong. So that's what he did. Hey, hey, open your eyes. Wake up. You're finally awake. Are you okay? Uh... How do you feel? Are you hurt? Do you know who I am? You, you? What happened? I heard screams coming from the bath, so I rushed over here. I found you passed out in the bathroom. Oh, the, that's right. I was spacing out in the bath, and then... If you were spacing out, why did you scream? Huh? I screamed? Yeah, so I came flying over here. She probably was having, like, a nightmare or something, maybe. <laughs> or Toa screams like a girl. I don't know. It must be pretty rough on you that I'm the only female staff member here, huh? It's not that, Yua. A guy came into the bath. I was so shocked I must have screamed. Huh? A guy? No one was here when I came. It was just you. So she's going to think she imagined it. Huh? Really? Yeah, if your head was fuzzy, maybe you must took one of the monkeys on that hill back there for a guy. There are monkeys on the hill? No, not that I've heard. Hey, I'm being serious here. <laughs> sorry, sorry. All right. You're going to catch a cold. You should get back to your room and get some sleep. Come on, I'll walk you back. Okay, thanks. But he left her. That's so sad. But he doesn't want anyone to know about his secret identity, probably. And he's like, I was in the girl's bath. And like, I mean, I kind of understand. But it's still like, damn. I mean, all right, all right, Toa, Toa. I'm happy we're in your round, and I'm really excited about this, and this is now intri even more intriguing than it was, but at least Isora locked us in a fucking basement cellar somewhere, okay, to keep us safe, and you just left us alone in a bathroom. That's all I'm saying. All I'm saying. <laughs> I find that less offensive, that he left us in the bathroom, passed out, and was like, let me just go quickly and run away, like, and left us fucking passed the fuck out in the bathroom. Like... Someone will find her. Like, uh, then, like, what fucking happened? Then, like, Isora, like, lock. I mean, but I can't really. I don't know. I'm sure we'll forgive him, but it's just a little bit like, well, I mean, geez, though. What if I died? <sighs> what in the world just happened? The guy I saw in the bathroom, he looked just like the guy on the poster, the famous celebrity Otto. Maybe I got sleepy and was looking at the poster and started to dream. As that thought drifts through my mind, I realize that I'm really thirsty. Likely because I fainted in the bath. I think I saw some barley tea in the cafe. I look at the clock and see that it's already midnight. What should I do? Go to the foreign cafe alone. 
I quietly open my door and step out into the silent hallway. I descend the stairs on tiptoe, trying not to wake anyone. The lights are off in the cafe. Moonlight illuminates the room. Relying on the light of the moon, I pour some tea into a cup and head back out into the lobby. This is great. We do have a little extra in this one. Oh my god, it's like pouring out. The lights are still on in the lobby. I sit down on the couch and sip my tea. I would hope they'd still be on, because I could be dangerous for guests otherwise. It's nice and cold. Since I just fainted in the bath, my body seems to welcome the fluid it was missing. As I sit my tea quietly by myself, I hear a door creak. Is someone coming? I sit there staring, and Yua appears from the staff room. She doesn't seem to notice me sitting on the couch and passes right in front of me, walking towards the main entrance. Oh, Yua! Hmm? Oh! You surprised me! Are you feeling better? Yeah, thanks to you. Are you headed home now, Yua? Oh, I'm staying here tonight. Yuki and I switch back and forth. Oh, so then where are you going? Oh, right. There's a vending machine a short walk from here. There's barley tea in the cafe, you know. I'm suddenly in the mood for soda. The vending machine outside sells Okanizato, uh, Ramune. Okanizato Ramune. It has the Okune Panda on the can, which makes it taste even better. You're going out there just to buy a soda? Yeah, that's my intention. It's really late, so be careful out there. <laughs> that stuff doesn't really happen around here. I'll be fine. Oh, God, she's going to die, isn't she? See ya. Go to bed soon, okay? Okay, I'll head right up after I'm finished. Yua grins, pushes the door open, and leaves. She must really want a soda. Okunazato Ramune. Ramune. I should try that while I'm here. I drink the rest of my tea and return to my room. Our second day in Okanazato. Okay, so. Interesting. Interesting. And so I'm also curious, too, because I think... Um... Like this. Take a good look at the wind chimes. What's the deal with the wind chimes? Is it literally just like a talking point so that in certain paths we'll talk with Yua and like learn other things? You know what I mean? Like, what's the deal with the wind chimes? Like, is there a fucking thing about the wind chimes? Like, what's the thing about the wind chimes? Anyway. Hmm. Oh, I have to get going soon. I'll be back in time to take over this afternoon. Oh, wait, Yua. We're supposed to ask her what she did last night. What did you do last? I know what you did last night. No. Did you come straight back after I saw you last night? Huh? Oh, you mean after we met in the lobby? The night breeze felt really good, so I took a short walk before I came back. Why? I'm nothing, I'm just being suspicious, apparently. I was thinking I should have gone with you. Now let's check out the nightlife together next time. Although the kind of nightlife a city girl like you is probably imagining doesn't exist here. Hmm. The Art House Cinema has a special late night showing once a week, but that's it. And they've got some pretty crazy films, so we should go see one. Yeah, that sounds fun. Okay, see you later. Okay, bye. Damn. Oh my god. Like, it's funny, like, there's just a, a corner on my patio where the water, like, like, obviously, like, you know, because we have gutters, but they must be clogged because, like, it's perfectly fine. And then there's just this, like, quarter of my patio that just, like, it's just pour water is pouring down from it. And, like... Oh, my carpet has, like, got a giant puddle on it. Not that it matters. I don't go out on my patio. It's spider-topia out there. It's scary as fuck. Um, oh, we're supposed to talk with Toa! I'm assuming, yes, talk with Toa. New! New! What are you doing, Toa? I can't swim, so I was thinking of going for a walk. Oh, yeah? Then I'll go with you. Huh? You want to come with me? I'll just be wandering around, you know. That's fine. I can't swim either. I brought my swimsuit, but it'd be a little embarrassing to wear it here. Oh, yeah? I kind of wanted to see how you looked in a swimsuit, though. Oh! Wow. Oh, um, I mean, nothing. <laughs> Aw, it's kind of adorable and creepy. <laughs> like, kind of wanted to see what you look like in a swimsuit. Nothing, I didn't say that. I may hide and just act a little awkward, but he's a normal, normal boy. Anyway. Hey, Toa, aren't you hot in those clothes? Oh, these? No, I'm fine. Though, I can't say I'm nice and cool, but wearing this calms me down. It's like it hides him. You know what I mean? That's what it is. It's hiding himself. It does? Yeah. 
It's my late grandfather's padded doTERRA kimono, so it's a little big on me. When I wear it, I feel like it hides me, and it really calms me down. See, I told you it hides him. But also, the it's my late grandfather, so it adds this calming... Like, I get that, too, because, like, I have my dad's flannel. And, like, when I'm... That's what I wear. And it's like... You know what I mean? Like, it's going to end up looking, like, run down and raggedy pretty soon, because I wear it all the fucking time. Like, when I'm cold. But it's like that... It's You're being closer to somebody that's gone. You know what I mean? Like, I get that. But I also know him, knowing who he is. It's like, yes, it calms me. It hides me. That's exactly it. Yes. Calms him down probably because he's stressed out about his life. I mean, poor guy. I don't think you have any reason to hide. Is that also why you wear your hair like that? Uh, probably. I guess you could say I don't like being looked at. Because everyone's used to looking at him. Aww, poor precious baby. Sorry, that really is weird, isn't it? You don't need to apologize. If it helps you be yourself, I think it's fine. Really? I don't think many people would say that. Oh, oh, the ahem, ahem. Oh, don't feel like you need to be nice to me. If you're hot, feel free to go back and play in the water with the others. I'm not trying to be nice or anything. I've never really liked the water. My big brother told me that I fell in a river when I was little. I don't remember it happening, but he said I've been scared of the water ever since. Like some kind of trauma? I tried my best to learn how to swim, though, but I'd always get too scared, and I never made any progress. I still sink like a stone. What about you, Toa? Me? I'm not very good at swimming, either. When I was a kid, I had a bad ear infection, so when we started learning how to swim in school, I was stuck watching from the sidelines. So I was completely left behind, and the next thing I knew, I was the only one in the class who didn't know how to swim. I tried my best, but I had no idea how to even breathe. <laughs> Same here. In elementary school, I kept hiding the fact that I couldn't swim. I even hid during the school swim meet, so I didn't have to compete. But one year, one of the swimmers was out sick, so they made me, of all people, fill in to swim the anchor leg of the race. Whoa. It felt like my heart was going to burst out of my chest as I stood there with everyone watching me. And in the instant my teammate tagged me, I dove in and started flailing my arms frantically. And then, ugh, I don't want to remember the rest. <laughs> and you still can't swim? No, I've never gotten any better. Honestly, I wish all the pools in the world would just disappear. Well, that would suck. <laughs> yeah, are you still that troubled about not being able to swim? Not anymore, no. When I left for the city, not being able to swim didn't make much of a difference in my life. I don't know why I was so troubled by it back then. If I had a time machine, I'd go back and tell myself not to worry so much about it. That would be nice. I've been thinking recently. Yeah? If someone I love was drowning in the ocean or a river, I wouldn't be able to save them. When I think about that, I feel pretty pathetic. I secretly joined a gym to practice my swimming, but I'm completely hopeless. When I think about the lifeguard watching me, I get so embarrassed. I think you could probably take swim lessons because there's probably a lot of adults that don't know how to swim. I mean, you live in Japan and you're like on a fucking island, so you probably should learn how to swim just because, I mean, like tsunamis and shit. But I'm just saying, like, probably a good idea to learn how to swim. And I'm pretty sure all school, like, most schools in Japan have, like, pools. It's pretty fun cool. I learned that. <laughs> Which we don't. We'd be like, well, we ain't got no pool. Even when you live, like, in the middle of fucking nowhere and you're like, a pool sounds like a great idea. All those people who don't live on one of these water states, ocean states. You don't live near an ocean. Damn. Or like a lake. Man. You're going to be fucked when the when the water starts coming in. Like, the rest of us will be fine. We can swim. We'll drown fast because, you know, we can't swim forever. But it does suck. <laughs> I think we're all going to be fucked when the world floods. I'm just saying. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I can totally relate. It's not fun when people look down on you because you can't swim. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm so weird. Here I am rambling on. Huh? You're not weird. You were being so formal with me before, but now you're talking with me casually. Huh? What? Oh! <laughs> you hadn't noticed? Maybe I shouldn't have said anything then. No, it's fine. Usually I can't talk to girls like this, so it's really strange. 
I can't talk to girls like this because as soon as they see my face, they fawn and they know who I am. And that's why. I'm also, if he, I, I'm just saying, okay. If he goes up to them with his hair back being his normal set, like being like his superstar self, they're just going to throw themselves at him. He's like, and I can't be normal. I can't be myself because you're just looking at my celebrity face, right? But then if he comes up to you dressed like this, you're going to be like, he's a weirdo. Because he's act, he's awkward and strange and slightly a weirdo, but I like the awkward, strange weirdos. Plus, hello, you know that they're charming underneath, and he's going to be, like, magical. He's going to be our magical, wonderful boyfriend, right? He's going to be great. You're going to be like, it's the awkward ones that are always, oh, he's going to have, like, the heart of gold, and you're like, oh, you awkward nerd. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I'm sure, like, the manager of the hotel guy is going to be, like, the fucking best because it's going to be, like, the angry, but he's going to have the heart of, it's going to be, like, that marshmallow. He's going to be our, you know, like, look all crusty on the outside, but I'm all soft and marshmallowy on the inside. Yeah. I don't know what to expect from Sosuke. It's going to just be, he'll be fine. <laughs> like, because he's pretty and I don't really give a shit what happens. I'll be like, I love you anyway. He could have locked me in a basement and I'd be like, I'm fine with it. He sort of locked us in a basement and we were fine with it, too. At first, it was like, no, this is crazy. You shouldn't just accept this. This is crazy. But we got out and we went, it was, okay, you recognize it was crazy. We're fine. We're good. We love you, too. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I tend to worry about what I'll do if they think I'm lame. But now, I don't really mind if I don't look cool in front of you. I'm not sure why, though. Hey, Toa, you just said that not being able to swim doesn't make a difference when you start working. Yeah, I did. Why? Do you work, Toa? Yesterday you kind of made it sound like you don't have a job. Oh, uh, it's just a part-time job. It's kind of like a service job. It's not very interesting or impressive. Yes, it is! But you just don't want to tell us what it is, because if you tell us, like, <gasps> I'm a fucking international superstar. <laughs> I'm sorry, no. I'm like a Japanese superstar. Girl, I'm fabulous. Then she'll think of you differently and you want somebody to like you for who you are. That's why you're not going to tell us. And it's fine. And I understand that. And we're going to love you for who you are. Because we thought you were adorable before we knew. And now we know. <laughs> I love it so much. It's so great. A part-time service job, huh? Good luck with that. You seem like a nice guy. So I'm sure you can make all the customers smile. Make all the customers smile. Yeah, thanks. I'll do my best. Hey, while we're talking, could you tell me something? What happened after you dove into the water at that swim meet? You said you didn't want to talk about it. Huh? Okay, but don't laugh. I won't. I might. I didn't know how to breathe, so I ran out of breath. And the next thing I knew, I was standing on my feet, two lanes over. <laughs> uh, you laughed. I told you not to laugh. Oh, sorry. I thought I was supposed to. That's mean. I was really embarrassed, you know. The other anchors had reached the finish long before, and I was alone in the pool with everyone staring. If you ended up two lanes over, you must have gotten turned around partway through. <laughs> You're laughing at me again. You're so mean. <laughs> He's laughing too, but smiling at us. Aw. Oh, good. I thought you'd already left. Huh? Has that much time passed? We didn't mean to be gone long. Where'd you go? I was looking for you. Stop being clingy, Hino, okay? We're not in your path. Look, you were great in your path, but we other people. We got other boys to date. Simmer down. Oh, Mr. Kagasuchi flipped when he noticed you were gone. He was about to call an ambulance because he thought you might have drowned. Good thing there's no cell service out here, huh, Hino? Otherwise, a bunch of ambulances would have shown up. He clammed up. Okay, now let's search ready. Yay, okay. <laughs> Guys, why are you being so mean to me? I'm like the best cop in town. You're the only cop in town. Well, whatever. It's like different. <laughs> Listen, bowl cut. His hair is almost like a bowl cut, kind of. It's got that kind of effect when he turns front ways. Oh, Sosuke, you're still the prettiest one. But I think we're going to enjoy Toa's route, probably one of the best. What should I do? Rest in your room, go for a short walk. What do we do? We go for a short walk. 
There's still some time left before supper, so I decide to take a walk around the exterior of the hotel. Time seems to stand still around the Furincon Hotel as the sun sets in the summer sky. The sky is so vast, and the air is so clean. It wouldn't be bad living in the country. As I stretch, I hear the sound of water coming from the direction of the garden. It almost sounds like a fountain, but not quite. I head toward the garden. Mm hmm. As I get closer to the sound of water, I gradually hear someone softly humming. <laughs> okay, humming. That tune. Have I heard it somewhere before? I'm going to guess it's an Aux Zero song. Oh, Toa! Yeah. Hey, what are you doing? Going for a walk? Yeah, I had some free time, so I figured I'd wander around for a bit. It's, like, so light out, but the thunder is so, like, like... <gasps> I gotta be honest with you. There was one night... Oh, my God. It's still going. The thunder's still going. And now it's speeding around. Okay. I was, like... I have, like, rain sounds that I fall asleep to because I, like, I need the white noise. But it was also raining outside, but I was, like, I can't hear the rain outside, so I'm, like, whatever. But I must have fallen asleep, but I woke up, and it must have been right as, like... There was, like, a crack of thunder on my app. Like, at the same time, this rumble of thunder was just going. And I don't know if it literally was just, like, rumble, 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 and then it was done. Or if it literally, it, it seemed, because, like, you're half asleep, and you're waking up. You're dead to sleep, and then, but it wakes you up. But as you're waking up slowly, it just sounds like it goes on forever. I swear to God, I thought I was going to die. I literally was waking up, like, oh, my God, it's a tornado. Any second now, I am literally going to be sucked out because it was just this, the rumbling. It was so loud. I mean, it fucking was so loud. It woke me the fuck up. Like, and it was just, and it seemed like it was going on forever. But like with the combination of like the little more brassy kind of thunder crashing noises from my app and like the deep rumble of the... But, like, I'm going to tell you something. Be woken up from, like, like at the deepest, longest rumble of thunder ever from a dead sleep. Holy shit. It's like, <gasps> But I was also so fucking tired. I woke up and I was like, oh, my God, I'm going to die. It's like a tornado. This is it. And then I just, like, kind of was like, I'm too tired to fucking care. <laughs> and then it, like, petered off. And I was like, okay, good. No, we're fine. We're fine. We're okay. I'm like, it wasn't. <gasps> but, oh, my God. Oh, it was kind of like, it was so scary. But after the fact, you're like, Shit, I hope that never fucking happens. But at least if I'm going to die in a tour, I hope I'm fucking dead asleep when it happens. Because, like, holy shit. Oh, my God. Anyway, I just wanted to share that. Because <laughs> that rumble of thunder was, like, so deep. And I'm like, it's scarier because the rain is gone. The rain has stopped. And it's like, there's clouds, but there's still sun. It's, it's like 7 o'clock, so the sun's setting. But it's still a little too bright out for how much, how deep that and long that rumble of thunder was. It's really weird. Obviously, the storm just passed over really quick, but... Anyway, yeah, I had some free time, so I figured I'd wander around for a bit. What are you doing, Toa? <clears throat> yeah. Cleaning the wire mesh on the grill. There's a lot of food particles sticking to it, so I couldn't just leave it be. You're cleaning it in the pot. That's so weird. So you prefer to have things clean, huh? <laughs> I'll help you. Oh, no, that's fine. I mean... I was no help at the barbecue earlier, so please, let me do at least this much. Uh, the water's cool, too, so it feels good. You worked plenty, didn't you? You brought everyone chilled drinks from the river. Then my foot slipped, and I dropped them, so Sosuke had to help me. Yeah, but I thought that was really nice of you. Nice? Me? I think you're much more... Uh, oh, never mind. Hey... Toa, were you humming just now? Huh? Oh, you heard that. That's embarrassing. I feel like I've heard that tune somewhere before. What song is it? It's one of the... Yeah, like, and I don't... Like, oh, it's an Ox Zero song. Wow, you know all of them. Are you a fan of theirs? I guess, sort of. You could kind of say that maybe a little bit. What? Yeah, I mean, I guess. Because I wrote all the damn songs. Anyway. It's one of those hit songs, like one an idol group would sing. Well, I know it, so it must be a pretty famous song. Oh, I know. Why don't you sing it again, Toa? Oh, and then you're going to see how gorgeous his voice is, right? N no, th 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 that's okay. I'm tone deaf, so it would be too humiliating. No, he's not. No, he's fucking not. Oh, yeah, I guess it's not really a song you can sing just because someone tells you to. Sorry. Don't worry about it. Um, 
Maybe us meeting here again is fate. Huh? Oh, I was just talking to myself. Don't mind me. Um, if you don't want to, it's okay, but... Yes? Would you go with me? Uh... You don't want to? Huh? Well, what are you talking about? Hmm? Oh, I forgot the most important part. Sorry, I was playing the scene out in my head, and I thought for sure I'd said it, but I guess I ended up flubbing my line. Even though something like that would never happen on a TV drama. T Toa, are you okay? He is so fucking odd. I love him so much. He's such an awkward little duck. I'm sorry. He's an awkward little cat. He's an awkward, nearsighted little cat. An odd cat doesn't... No, odd, he's an odd duck. He's an odd duck who thinks he's a cat. That's what it is. That's how odd he is. Yeah, I'm fine. Please, let me do another take. Another take? Yeah, um... Do you know that there's a summer festival in town tomorrow? A summer festival? Oh, yeah, I guess there is. Um, would you go with me? I mean, if you don't want to... Oh, that's what you were trying to say. Thanks. You're so funny, Toa. <laughs> He's like, I'm not funny. I'm just awkward. Don't laugh at me. I am? Look, he looks sulky. It's cute. Yeah, I enjoy talking with you. Oh, please wait. You don't have to reply. Huh? What do you mean? I'll be waiting on a bench at Okuni Park tomorrow at 6 p.m. Meet me there if you'd like to go with me to the festival. Uh, okay. He's like, oh, okay. See ya. Oh, t Toa! He left the water running. He didn't need to be so nervous about it. I mumbled to myself, turning off the hose. Whew! I'm kind of tired, so I go back, decide to go back to my room and rest. You know what the funny thing is, though? We... That's a line, like, I decide to go back, but we never... M We've re read that line, but we never had that, like, a scene with Toa. You know what I mean? I guess it's just that he has a different background or whatever, but it's the same line, but. Oh, so then, oh, so that's interesting. So in this instance, right? Toa asks us to go to the festival with him. Then we go have dinner and he sort of asks us to go to the festival with him. And then Hino comes and asks us to go to the festival with him. Interesting. Wow. And then do we, when we go down Sosuke's route, do we have all of them asking? I'm assuming then that like Toa doesn't ask us that. Sosuke asks us, but we still have Isora and Hino asking us. Interesting, interesting. Um, we will probably get through this to where we go to choose to go with Toa. Um, I just think it's funny. When you choose go with Toa, right? Oh, we're supposed to, right. Okay, here we have another choice. It's because it's a, the dot, dot, dot choice. And I, like, I, I didn't even notice it. I was like, there, why is there, like, a break in the tech? Oh, because of dot, dot, dot. Anyway. Um... You get a trophy, Toa Kushinata's heartbreak. Why would it be his heartbreak? Because we say we're going to the thing with him. I don't understand. That makes me sad. Because, like, Isora's, when we say we go with him, we get Isora Amari's dedication. And when you go with Hino, you get the melancholy of Hi Hino Kagasuchi. Why do we get the melancholy of Hino? Okay, um, so we're going to go with Toa. I'm going to, since we're going to end up going on the thing with him, we're a little under our normal time, but this is going to start down his route where we're going to have um, everything different. Uh, you know what I mean? It'll be his path and we're not going to have probably, we might not have, well, we might have some common stuff, I think. I think we still have some common stuff. Um... But anyway, I'm going to wrap this part up here. I know it's a little shorter than normal, but just because we're in a good spot where we're going to start and we're going to go on down to the festival with him, I don't want it to go too, too long. So I'm going to wrap this part up here and we'll see what happens in the festival in the next part. So I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.